Hi guys, welcome to uh, Shine Chats. Uh, we're here at the uh, BDIA conference. Uh, my name is James Salter, I work for uh, Henry Shine, and I'm joined by the lovely Dr. Claire Stevens, CBE. Congra <laughs> Thank congratulations. Thank you. And, and also known as the uh, the Tooth Fairy yes, in the right. uh, in the UK. And I think that's probably the best place to start, Claire, in terms of just getting a, uh, the audience to get an understanding of who you are uh, and your background. Why have you got that nickname, the Tooth Fairy? Well, I'm an NHS consultant in paediatric dentistry. Um, and I was full-time until I became pregnant with my daughter Ava and when I was on maternity leave I kind of realized that there really was a lack of evidence-based consistent information for parents about children's oral health and I realized that it was something that I could help with and something that I obviously had the knowledge as a consultant to be able to give the correct information. Yeah, yeah, and so I started a blog, which is Tooth Fairy Blog. And, ah, okay, yeah. and that's where that sort of came from. Um, and that is really a very much a parent facing blog, yep. um, aiming to deliver accessible, pragmatic information about children's oral health. So, uh, and obviously the topic being sort of children's oral health, I, I read a, a green paper uh, a few weeks ago, I think it was released in, at the start of October, which I, I know you've read. I've, I've got a little sort of generic mm -hmm. statement here, but really interesting to me. I mean, obviously a government piece, so I'll read it correctly. Uh, to give our children a good start in life, we need to do much better on oral health. Tooth decay is the most common oral disease among children and the most common reason for hospital admission, which I found absolutely astounding in terms of that fact. It also finishes with saying, yet it is largely preventable. Now, I know you've been talking for a long, long time about mm. prevention rather than managing Absolutely. those situations. Absolutely. What's, what's your thoughts on that? Is this something positive that you're seeing from the government or is it a case that, you know, the reality it has to be put into action now? So I certainly would welcome the green paper. I think the fact that it's there and has been out for consultation is a really positive step. And it gives organisations such as British Society of Paediatric Dentistry, yeah, um, who, who I've been past president of and, and now media spokesperson, gives us the chance to give our expert view on what can be done to improve children's oral health. Because, as you say, it is the most common reason for a child to be admitted to hospital in England. We know that every 10 minutes, a child is having decayed teeth taken out. Yeah. And that's a significant significant cost to the NHS. It's around £50.5 million every year wow. on a disease which is largely preventable. And in my day-to-day -day practice, I'm seeing this every week. I have an operating list myself. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not uncommon for me to remove all 20 baby teeth in a child that's yet to reach their second birthday. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think we know the answers. We know what can be done. We know what works. We know what, what delivers return on investment. But that requires a fundamental shift from managing dental disease to preventing it in the first place. Yeah, and I suppose it's, it's also, and certainly I've, I've got two, two young boys, one mm. uh, one-year-old and one four-year-old. And for me, it's also about awareness yes. in, in terms of parents, because yes. certainly, if I, obviously, we've known each other for a year or so now. And since then, I've become so much more aware <laughs> of that scenario naturally. Yes. Uh, but before, I'm not sure. So, for example, you've been working on the Dental Check by One project. Yes. Um, and that really opened things up for me. But I think previously, would I have taken my one-year-old to dental? And I think there's millions of parents out there in terms of so what activities, obviously you've got dental check by one, mm. what things are going on to create that awareness amongst parents yeah. that you should be taking your child to the, because obviously it's, it's not where it needs to be at the moment. No, absolutely not. And De Dental Check by One is a national campaign led by the British Society of Paediatric Dentistry, but in partnership with the Office of the Chief Dental Officer for England. Yeah. So we know that before the campaign started, it was a single percentage figure of children that were getting a dental checkup before even their second birthday. Yeah, I, saw, so, I read 3% yes, exactly. uh, before one that exactly, were going to see yeah. Exactly. Um, and we've got massive challenges anyway in getting children to access dental care. 40% of children didn't see an NHS dentist last year. So Dental Check by One is there to raise uh, awareness. It's a consistent message. It's not anything new. Yeah. That's actually been the national guidance for years and years. Um, but there isn't that awareness amongst parents. When was, it, launched? When was it launched, Dental Check by One? Was it? Dental Check by One is now two years old. Two years old. Yeah, yeah. so it was launched to the profession in May 2017 yeah. um, and to the public in September 2017. And in that time, we have seen a 2.6% increase in 0 to 2 year old children getting their, their dental checkup. And that might not sound like much, but actually it's, it's completely yeah, bucking the trend. Population. 
Um, and, uh, and it's also had an effect on NHS dental access generally. So an additional 99,000 children saw an NHS dentist up to the end of last year as well. Oh, fantastic. So what, what activities, in terms of that awareness, what, what sort of strategies and approaches has the Dental Check by One and just sort of generally... Yeah. What, what have, well, I think the difference with Dental Check by One is it has had such strong cross-organisational support. Yeah. So we have 17 organisations who have signed up to support us. Everything from, uh, you know, midwives to health visitors to British Dental Association, rural colleges. We've all signed up and we're all saying the same thing. And in my practising time, which is nearly 20 years now, um, I've not known a dental campaign with such strong cross-organisational support. So we've really worked across the board, we've had it written into policy, yep. we've looked at how dentists are paid and made sure that they understand that they are eligible to be paid if they deliver a dental check by one. We've also worked directly to parents yeah, and so giving that, out those messages What, what, what well. approaches have been done on, on that side in terms of, you know, how's that been? Well, we, we have uh, looked at things on social media, um, we're delighted that Shine are going to be supporting us to make a dental check by one video, yep. that's just been commissioned now and I'm... Um, looking forward to seeing I'm very that excited about yeah, that as well. Yeah, me too. I'm really looking forward to it because actually that's where parents are. They're on Facebook. You know, we can't expect them to neatly walk in when instructed into our dental surgeries. We've actually got to be active in reaching parents where they are, yeah. whether that's on social media, whether that's when they go in for their um, health visitor checks, whether it's even as far back as they're having their midwife appointments. And that's what we've done differently with Dental Check by One. We've yeah. really worked across that whole journey and we're integrating it into the uh, red, uh, you know, the red book, which you're very familiar yeah, yeah, with. I'm yes, sure. absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah. So when that moves to an e-red book, there will be a prompt that says, "Have you had your dental check by one? If not, here's how to do it." So what we know in terms of behaviour changes, we need to tell parents more than once. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah, need yeah. to make sure that every part of their journey, they're prompted to take the correct action. No, absolutely. I mean, and technology is supporting that as well yes. so for example you know my phone when my four-year-old goes in home he talks to google home or, yes. or alexa yes. so i mean there's so many opportunities to now yes. communicate yes with with you know my son rather talks to alexa rather than us in terms of getting an answer <laughs> so you know it, there's so many sort of yes available and, and, and knowledge and available and actually, that through those channels are digital natives they yeah. understand tech and they've grown up with it. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I've started to look at slightly different ways of reaching children directly as well. Exactly. So, it's not know, just the parents, actually the children you can impact at a certain know, age. CBE aside, my children's uh, you know, greatest sort of um, uh, celebration in terms of my professional work was Hey Dougie. Yes, um, of course, so yeah. So I, I realised as a parent that my children were taking on messages from programs that they watch, whether it's about maths or phonics, but also there's really positive messaging in Hey Dougie, which is preschool animation. So yeah. I wrote to them and say, said, you know, I love the I love the show, my kids love it. How about we use it for positive public health promotion and let's write a toothbrushing badge. And yeah. they wrote back and said, we're up for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I helped them to write a script that was clinically accurate, giving out the correct messages. Um, and uh, earlier this year, it went live. And that has been seen, I think, by over 10 million children now. And, and um, that's it, which that's is it. phenomenal. Um, and there's even a two minute brushing song that goes with it. So, yeah. you know, we, we've always been taught brushing, to, uh, brushing your teeth to music. Yeah, it's my, really so, my son sings it, so yeah, yeah. Um, and so Hey Dougie was one way of bringing that uh, into realisation. And I also um, enlisted my daughter when she was two to make <laughs> my first CBBs, my first dentist. Yeah. So it's just a positive messaging about um, going into NHS dental practices, that it being a really positive and pleasant experience, something that should be happening routinely for every child. Yeah, and, and, it, and there's so many, there's just so many touch points that you, you can hear, isn't there? Yes. We've already discussed, you know, the, the child, the yes. parent, the carer, yes. the dentist. Yes. It, Yes. So many that we've got a sort of impact. Yes, uh, moving but I forward. think if you can reach directly to children and the parents are almost watching that as a byproduct, yeah. then that is really strong because yeah, no one wants to be preached at. They yeah. don't want to yeah, have yeah, yeah, a yeah. message that says, You've got to do this, why aren't you doing it? And if you're not doing it, you're failing your child. Let's make it fun. Um, yeah. and, and that's where I've been going over the last couple of years, trying different ways to get the messages out there yeah. um, without it being preachy or. Um, it, you know, uh, making parents feel that they've got any harder a job than they already have. No, absolutely. Speaking of make it fun, you've already spoken about it briefly, but do you want to just give us a little bit more info and maybe the project that we're starting to
to work on yeah. and what the uh, audience can expect over the uh, coming okay. months. So I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about the partnership um, between Shine and BSPD and Dentisan as well, who are helping us, um, and Rush DJ as well. And what we're doing is we've commissioned four videos, short videos optimised for sharing on social media. So the first one will support Dental Check by One. It's featuring the very lovely Dr. Ranch, who I'm sure you're familiar with from his Strictly Come Dancing Very much so, yeah. Um, but he's also a, a paediatrician and in a very well-known and respected and well-liked presenter as well. Um, so I think he'll appeal to children as well as Yeah, a number of demographics. Well. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So there'll be one short video, one dental check by one, and then three aligned to the different age groups in delivering better oral health. That's so awesome. not two, three to five, and then six plus. So it's just going to be fun videos, hopefully a mix of Dr. Ranch and a bit of animation in there as well, giving out um, the key messages that we want parents to take home and then sharing those on all our social media channels as well. Absolutely wonderful. I cannot wait to be part of the project. Absolutely. Uh, Claire, thank you so much for no, your time today. For the really appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.